So everybody's talking about artificial intelligence, AI. The big question is, what is Oracle doing in its HCM products to support that? You know, it's so interesting to see how this has been adopted by the HCM community. Hmm. We've actually had elements of what you might consider AI in the product for seven years. Seven years? Yeah, we started playing around with predictive. Before it was called AI. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We started playing around with predictive analytics seven years ago, and we mm -hmm. actually introduced that, where we were saying, based on data that we had within the system, we could predict if someone was going to be a top performer okay. or how likely someone would be to leave the organization. Right. Exactly. So focusing on that as our additional proof points, now it feels like the market's kind of catching up to some mm -hmm. of these ideas. So we've got years of experience in actually working in this. Another component is machine learning. And okay. of course, we've heard tons of that, right? So what we like to think about that is in terms of the recommendation engine. Mm -hmm. So being able to recommend learning based on your profile, people like you have watched these kinds of videos, mm -hmm. have taken these kinds of courses, based on the work you're doing. Maybe you want to recommend a class based on the fact that you have a certain open requisition. Okay. Um, similarly, when we're thinking about next jobs for people, right? Okay. Career development. Here are some recommended roles for you based on your performance, your background, the role that you fit in. Flipping it over, and this is the part that I start to get a little more excited mm -hmm. about, yep. thinking about recommended successors. Okay. So rather than just going to the people that you know, mm -hmm. who really would be the best fit? Not just who's in line right now. Maybe you have actually a slate of successors. How can you identify the one or two who are okay. the best fit? But anything if it makes a business user or manager in the succession question think, say, huh, I haven't thought about this, right? Maybe right. taking some bias out, maybe writing the focus, uh, and never thinking about that perspective because we're so often set up in our thinking, busy with other things. That's where is the great value of AI. Right, exactly. And we think about this also when we think about recruiting. So mm -hmm. if you think about a typical recruiter who opens up a requisition and they get 100 applicants, most of them are going to do a quick sort on maybe skills, and then they're going to go through most recent, right. probably, right? Because right. they're more likely to be active. Sure. Are those really the best fit? So yeah. what we're really looking at there now is to say not only they've got the skills, but based on what we know within the organization, are they likely to stay? Are they likely yeah. to be a top performer? And how do we identify the you know two to three best fit candidates mm -hmm. as opposed to just fit with the competency list. So, so instead of having the shift. 100 and using ordinary things like date or who came in last, right? Mm -hmm. finding those who are most likely going to be the best fit, but probably mm -hmm. also the most competitive ones where other people are looking after too. Right, exactly. And understanding that this is the best fit for this role in this organization, which may not be the same for the organization across the street based mm -hmm. on culture, based on how work gets done, other elements like that. So it's not one size of AI fits all? Not at all. We really need to think about how this works. So those are things that we've got right now and some other areas we're exploring very soon. Things like, this is my personal favorite, how do I get so that my approval queue gets lower? Hmm. If I always approve expenses, sure. why are they showing up in my appro approval queue? Why don't you instead find the ones that are likely to be exceptions and have those be the ones that, yeah. I, that show up for me? Or similarly, you know, at five o'clock on a Friday, if someone who's an administrative assistant logs into the system, mm -hmm. there's probably a 90% chance she's gonna do her time card. Okay. So why don't we just say, as the person logs in, here's your time card, would you like to finish it? As opposed to making them think through those steps. So how can I promote transactions using time, role, other information, and say these are the things you need to do right now. So we're looking at adaptive intelligence as ways to really take a lot of the noise out of the system yep. and give you the things that you actually need to take action on. Delight the user with something which they just want to do, where they think, how did the system know I want to do this now? Right. But it's actually great, it's asking me to do this. Exactly, and now I'm gonna be more productive and I'm happier using the system. Excellent.